do the form and uh, you know see we lucky in the modern age we have these cameras so give an overview pointers on some of the flows in the move uh, I can catch a few other subtleties So you can relax the hips a little more and then turn the on the center. And then this twist really comes from the calf muscles, press down twist. And also remember, when the weight is on the leg, make sure your knee is over your shin. So you can bend over here, but once the weight turns, open the hip first and then press over the foot. And turning. The ward off circle can be a little smaller, but then the ward come up first and the press is hidden. And then sink in, push out. So he keeps his hands a little more relaxed, but the wrists are still straight. And you keep your elbows down, your arms bent. And you sink. You, you don't exactly stay on the same level. It's a little bit of rise in the form, but generally not changing the level of the form. But your hips are keeping a constant bounce in your stance, so you build up the leg strength. Turning everything. See, you stay loose and soft. That's how you learn how to flow with that neutralizing. See, a lot of people learn Tai Chi. Then they get the push hand and they start acting like they're made of steel or something. That's not the correct <laughs> way to learn how to use it anyway. You push it with your legs, not with your arms. in a single whoop that uh, the traditional you know game style they go they do the real long you know posture yes yeah, in the pool you know what I'm saying like they do a real low yes yeah, it's like a different application function so the power is basically coming from relaxed limbs basically uh, yeah, you line up your bone structure yeah. and keep your center line. So when they hit you, they're really hitting the floor. When you hit them, 
you're hitting them as if you're pushing off of a wall, but okay. you're lining up from the floor, and you build up a lot of spring in your muscles, so uh -huh. this is the way you generate a lot of power. Okay. And then you just do a little bit of bag training, and you'll be good to go, because you find out how to use your muscles hydraulically. So what about, what about like, I know it's in, um, like, you know, when you practice in ball ball, you mostly focus on the, the turning or the talking power, but in Tai Chi, where's the power? Are you generating more from the inner, the lower uh, the end area, or the yeah. lower the napal, I mean? It's all, in every style, actually coming from the feet and the navel, mm -hmm. but it's just a matter of how much you know how to use your waist and your hip muscles the correct yeah. way. And then each style, what it is, they're just using different torques. Okay. And it's all the same spinning force, though. You know, yeah. just got to go with the natural flow, the way the muscle is supposed to move. Okay. And then you cut away a lot of resistance, which means you can generate a lot more power without losing energy in the movement. That's all the internal is really all about. Uh, see, because the only way to generate real power is to stop wasting energy in the first place. So okay. when you learn how to move the body in its natural way, you can pull all your muscles together to work as one unit. Uh, and that takes a little bit of time uh, for most people. But if you uh, learn, like notice how I'm moving, I'm really moving everything at the same time. So it doesn't look that powerful, but if I push against you, and I'm pushing with my full body weight, even if I'm moving slow, there's still a lot of power behind it. Yeah. What happens is most people might do a move and then they stop off heart and they do this and do that and they're really still not generating their, their enough power. See, the thing is to do it all the time and after a while it becomes second nature. Okay. So, like when you react to something, it's like somebody stuck you with a pin. Your whole body's going to jump and respond. So, like when you're sparring, as soon as you touch the guy, everything in your body comes alive. And you'll snap and hit with any part that's available. And it'll be a hard one too. So you say basically uh, William Form is more using more softer energy. Yeah, see soft is really a little better because when you relax, you yeah. generate speed quicker yeah. from any part okay. any, any time without nobody seeing where it's coming from. Okay. That's the idea of learning how to relax. So you can just snap out from anywhere at any time. Okay, so that, that's interesting. Uh, so basically, the, what about, before we leave, what about the intent of Tai Chi when you practice in a solo form? It, well, there's a statement in the classic I always tell my students read the Tai Chi classes because it's in there. One of the classics says that as soon as you touch your opponent's clothes, your intent should be to penetrate his bones. Man. Enough said. Yeah, you enough said. I hear that. I feel you. I feel you. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> Stay out of Harlem. You heard it first from BT. Real world martial arts. Real people. Real martial arts. Real environment. <laughs> Man,